crafty friends. This is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I want to share with you a makeover that I have done for my craft room. Now a lot of you know that uh, I've recently moved to New York City from a fairly large studio in Ohio to a very small studio in Manhattan and I'm trying to make the best of my space and the things that I could bring with me. So one of the things I brought with me is this craft spinner that you see behind you. This is actually a retail uh, fixture that I bought at a going out of business sale and it's really super functional. It's got that slat wall on it so you can add baskets and acrylic shelves and pegs so that, you know, it's really, it's really functional and versatile. Um, the sad thing though is that when I moved, it did not match my new white furniture. It was kind of this sad, faded, acre color. So while it was still super functional, it just looked really dingy. And I thought that it could use a little bit of a makeover. And so yesterday I painted it and um, I love the color teal and I thought it would be a beautiful pop of color in here and so I wanted to share with you that I painted it and the paint that I used because I really kind of like it. Um, so this is the Delta Ceram Coat Chalk Paint. Not to be confused with chalkboard paint. It's not chalkboard paint. It's uh, chalk paint which means that there is chalk inside the paint formula which gives it a tooth and it actually makes it super matte as well. Now what I found really excited about this or exciting about it is that um, this has got like a melamine finish to it and um, you know my brand is Craft Test Dummies not Craft Test Smarties and I have a tendency to try and cut corners and kind of do things the quick and easy way and as you know I've been trying to unpack and get things put away and so I did not wash the fixture nor did I prime the fixture and yet it covered in two coats so I was shocked now I'm gonna give you my super tip for this oh did I put it away already yes I used two things in order to get this coverage one is I used a regular paintbrush so that when I went into these corners here, because there is a lot of, you can probably see back here, some like beveling on the edges. I was able to go right into the corners with the paintbrush. It was streaky. I'm not going to lie. It was very streaky. But then I went over it with a foam roller. And then it kind of had a, like a little freckly look. It wasn't, again, completely, uh, it wasn't 100% coverage the first coat but it dries also super fast. If you haven't used the chalk paints, they dry really fast. And I walked away, I had lunch, and I came back and I did one more coat using this, and wha-bam, that's what I got. So I'm gonna spin it around so you can take a look. But yeah, it is, it's a really, um, it dries darker than what I saw in the uh, container, but it's pretty, if you notice, this is the color on the lid and that's the color on the spinner. So yeah, it's pretty close. I just wanted to go ahead and spin this around. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And that <laughs> this makes me so happy to be able to take my products that I'm using and display them and make them look nice back here. And it's awesome. What do you think? It looks like new, right? It, it's almost better than new because the new was still kind of dingy. I'm going to give it a spin for you too. Ooh, I know, it's kind of gorgeous, right? Look at that. Uh, there was also a question as to whether or not I did a wax top coat, and I did not. Um, you know, I'm, I don't, I guess my feeling is that if I were using this on a tabletop, or something that was going to get regular wear and tear, I might go ahead and do a spray poly or do a waxy top coat, do some kind of a finishing coat. But because really there's not, uh, the um, acrylic shelves take all of the work, um, I did not go ahead and spend the time to wax it or top coat it. Um, Rose says that I wouldn't be able to paint it again, which is also another good point. Once you put a top coat on, you're kind of done. Um, 
and if I was going to touch it a lot, I would use the wax, or if it was going to get a lot of wear and tear, I'd use the spray poly, but as it is, really, it's just the backdrop. The other thing I want to share with you, I'm really excited about this, is that I use this 8, eight fluid ounce container, and um, I'll just show you the consistency of this stuff, because it is so pretty. Hold on. boop a doop a doop a doop Boom. Um, so you can kind of see in there, it's a nice kind of thick viscous. It's definitely thicker than like heavy cream. It has a beautiful coverage. Do, 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 do. You can see as I'm spinning. But what's important that you're seeing is, did you see? There's product left in the bottom. So this is only eight ounces. I did this whole spinner from top to bottom, two coats, and there's still probably two ounces left. So that's pretty exciting to me that if you buy one container, I'll have to see what the retail price is because it's eluding me right now, but it it has a mild smell. I mean, it, like, okay, okay, when I go like this, I can smell it, right? There's a little bit of that sharp top note smell, but it doesn't, um, it's certainly not offensive to me, and when I was working it with it, it didn't like, woo, overwhelming, right? So the fact though that I can buy an eight ounce jar and I still have leftovers for touch-ups, I think is a great value. Just because then you can take an older fixture that maybe that has seen better days, an older piece of furniture, and upcycle it, and recycle it, and get your goodie out of it. Because, right, that's awesome. So I wanted to show you too because, you know what, Plaid has been very generous in sending me some paints like these. And I just wanted to kind of share with you, um, now this is the dyes. We'll be playing and, and looking at those dyes soon. But these are the different chalk colors that we have. And I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go off-roading here for a minute so that you can see. And I will show you the different colors that we've got on these. So, there we go. Now, interestingly, they just sent me these small two ounce ones. So, you can, if you have a big project like the spinner or a buffet, but say maybe you just had a little shadow box or some shelves, these two ounces don't look like they would do much, but these cover like the Dickens. So here we go. Yeah, so if you don't need the big ones, you've got little ones too. And these are just some really pretty colors. They're not all the same. So I'm interested. I don't quite understand this. So I'm going to ask maybe somebody who knows better than I do. So these are under the Folk Art Home Decor line, chalk paints. These are the Ceram Coat Delta paints. Is there much of a difference? I'm not sure. Usually, the Ceram Coat is a higher quality line. It's like the premium line. And then the um, Folk Art is a slightly lower line. And then the Apple Barrel is a, even a, a lower line than that. So, um, but the colors are gorgeous. I will probably do a little comparison. This Marigold color here is just kind of slaying me. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? It's such a pretty color. So we've got a marigold here and then that color. So here we go with some more um, paint colors in the chalk line. And blues, lots of blues. And then these are some top coats and finishes down here. So we've got that. Now, interestingly, also from the plaid company, you know, they used to do all the Martha Stewart stuff. And they used to have a Martha Stewart chalky finish paint. Well, I think now they have a new relationship with Waverly because, look, they've got these Waverly Inspirations chalk paints in their own special designer colors. And, um, you know, there aren't a gajillion of them, but they're really nice. So I was going to kind of maybe do a little, you know, a little swatch. And if you all think that this might be of help to you, I will open some of these up in another Periscope. We'll crack them open, we'll take a look at them, I'll give them a sniff for you. And here you can see that there are there's a white and then they've got their own waxes and varnishes and sealers, awesome. And then also in the Waverly line, and now they've got their own line of paint brushes and chalk brushes and whatever. So I just think it's kind of cool that if you love chalk paint, there there's almost no end to the number 
of you know colors and products that you can play with so that's what I wanted to share with you today how I upcycled my spinner ah, using I'm gonna give them a plug because I like it the ceram coat chalk paint and this is in dragonfly love it it's kind of my favorite so thank you plaid for sending me the paint to play with um, in full disclosure they sent it to me to use and try but I am sharing it with you because I like it so that's my little disclosure today Thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this periscope rebroadcast Make sure you follow me at Craft Test Dummy over there so you can see them live and participate. Thanks for watching and have a crafty day.